objective aspects of vehicle design and comfort and ergonomics. Now why, why would the company use uh, virtual reality technology? What is, what's the benefit in long run in terms of uh, the, for the Ford Motor Company? So we use virtual reality technology basically to save time and money. <laughs> so we can evaluate different design alternatives incredibly quickly. We can turn things around and evaluate a new design within a couple hours. So we can look at something, decide to change something, come back in a couple hours and have a, a quick review again of a new proposal. And we can also evaluate several alternatives at one time. So we can take one person who's maybe an average size male and scale that person to be the eye point of a four foot nine female, and then scale him up to be a six foot four male, and run through the same series of tests. So the time savings and the amount of, like the demographic we can cover is enormous compared to physical models. And how, how does that well. compare to how we used to do this before virtual reality? Um, we had prototypes, right? Right, so in the old days we would build a prototype or a, we call it like a quarter block or a, a part of the vehicle and then test those areas. But the problem was by the time we built the buck, it was out of date. And in this regard, all of our data is online, it's all up to date. So when we come in in the morning and we set up a, for a review, the data that we have is incredibly current and we can modify things and quickly change them and test them again. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Rich inside of a F-150. So the structure he's in is called the Programmable Vehicle Model. And Rich is the guy that knows about this. Oh wait, before we yes. go, uh, please don't film the cameras like from here up. Okay. And just, yeah, so if you don't get the red glowing cameras, anything down and over is, is good. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so Rich is in the programmable vehicle model and he has adjusted it to an F-150 and he is immersed inside that vehicle. So he has a left and right stereo view of his world and he has set it up so that there are key touch points. So the door is in the right position, the door has like a scoop in it and that's represented by the styrofoam that he's placed there. And then he has uh, gas and brake, steering wheel, uh, console, just the main key points that a customer relates to in the vehicle. And then you'll see this is one of his eyes. So this is left eye. And so he has stereo, but we're just looking at one of them in mono. And he's looking at the rear view mirror. Keep looking at the mirror, Rich. Okay, so Dan adjusted. And that's real-time reflections being generated of his view. And we can adjust, if the mirror wasn't in the right position, we can adjust it, you know, you'll see it move. So we can put it in the right position for him, this way and that way. And then do the same thing uh, with other components in the vehicle. We could do the steering wheel. We've done studies with the steering wheel and then look at the cluster, or, you know, whatever. So the whole point of this is to get the, your connection to the vehicle. So when he's sitting in there, he just feels like he's in an F-150. You know, this dash is really high, just like the F-150. And if this, the step-in height was critical, then we'd actually set this so that when he steps in, you feel like you have that tall step in height. So whatever those key things are that we're studying, we can represent them in this environment. And then the other thing is we can do things in this world that you can't do uh, very easily in the physical world. So we can represent, you know, the sunlight thing. 
look up at the visor ridge. So there's and then toggle band. So the visor goes away and then the visor comes down and then there's like a sunlight type effect so we can gauge coverage of the visor. We'll take the visor and we'll swing it forward and move it back and look at what kind of coverage and then move him around in the car and see if he's a small eye point or a tall eye point. What's his visibility? So you guys want to try it? All right. Let's try it. Oh, next thing you know, people are finding this is the best way.